Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val 3 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. <clears throat> We're starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Huh. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. It's interesting energy. As I was beginning to say, and then, or no, as I was going to pull your personal energy, then it became a little bit choppy. Um, it's kind of like either one, someone talking about you, mentioning you, um, it's a little bit of energy of like, wait, what? Back up, hold up. Um, <laughs> careful, you're kind of showing me the energy today of like, careful, the, the stinger may, might be out. Um, hopefully not, but if it is, it is. Understandable. That is definitely nature. I feel like it might be, Scorpio. I feel like it might be. But then again, that also lets me know that considering where the stinger is placed on the actual animal of the scorpion, um, it's not necessary that you lead with your stinger. It's just, you know what? It may be last resort if someone doesn't necessarily take the hint or take you seriously or doesn't respect a boundary. It's the equivalent of saying, I have it, but I'm not going around just using it just for the sake of using it. Um, only when necessary. Okay. So right away, I am noticing the number 777. One more. There we go. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, jumping into this, which I do see you are showing up with some sort of idea here in mind, and it is all about forward movement and progression for you. I do see that there is this train of thought that you are wanting to kind of follow through with whatever this idea is. But first, ultimately, what you're saying is you, you, you want to gain more clarity, you want to gain more perspective, and so you are. You're really taking a step back from this, and it's not necessarily an energy of uh, moving forward with this right away immediately and kind of like a, um, a rushed energy. It's, it's more so an energy of well thought out. And so because you aren't wanting to rush this, you're gaining further clarity and perspective, which is actually nice. But what's fascinating about this at the same time is ultimately you're showing me that even though you have so much going on for yourself right now, it feels like you, um, huh, there's a little bit of a, how do I say this? Um, It goes back to really honing in on how to use that energy, how to use that desire, how to use that want, how to use that energy of what it is you're pursuing, what it is you're wanting to accomplish, what it is you're wanting to create for yourself. It's how you go about doing it. So even though you're showing me, it's kind of like you're in the situation where you don't really want to, like I said with the stinger analogy, you don't really want to, but sometimes you feel like it's necessary and you have to. And so it's an energy of uh, not too happy about the way things are progressing, but I definitely don't want to lose what I have. So at the same time, I kind of have to do what I got to do to keep things going. And that being said, ultimately what you're saying is you definitely want to fight for your overall vision and plan of what you want to create and manifest because you do have so much love to give and invest in this to the point where there is a lot of happiness and excitement about this. And so even though there is a little bit of difficulty here, I do see that you are working through the problems, the difficulties, the challenges, and you are formulating some sort of possible plan or strategy as to how to kind of maneuver through this, even though there has been some sort of loss or unfortunate defeat, maybe financially, maybe it's just an energy of things aren't going too well. Um, you are still in the, in the energy of considering what to do next. It's an energy of don't stop moving. Do not stop moving. 
Um, so in a sense, don't don't back Scorpio into a corner because you will get the stinger. Um, you're considering your options, your possibilities, and you're choosing something here to move forward with, but you're being very cautious. And again, like I said, it's that energy of cautiousness. Maybe it's about personal boundaries. Maybe it's an energy of really kind of sifting through what you truly feel like doing, what it is that calls to you, and then pursuing that. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what else we can find. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're... <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get a little familiar with the Scorpio energy. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of, the yeah, it's actually kind of humorous a little bit. I find it that way. Um, you're showing me like, I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. Again, you're showing me this energy of like, mm, if I have to, if I have to, I will, but I don't want to, but I'll kind of do it with a smile. Um... <laughs> you're ultimately saying you're not you're not too happy with whatever this idea or this plan is but you do know that it's it's interesting you're ultimately saying i don't want to do what i have to do to get what i want but i will do it anyways <laughs> okay it's interesting though because even though it's like well i don't want to do that because it's irritating it might actually turn out in your favor Yeah. Yeah. It, like I said, it will turn out in your favor, and that's what you're in the. That's what you're in the process of figuring out. Is like, but the outcome, the result, <laughs> the result, it's kind of a little bit like jumping through hoops. You don't want to do it, but when you do it, something turns out in your favor, and you're like, okay, it's not that bad. It's just kind of like mm, I don't want to have to do that, but I guess I have to. Yeah, work is work, isn't it, Scorpio? Work, work is work. <laughs> You're like, ah, I don't know how I feel today, but I know I got to do something. I know I got to do something. I'm not feeling the greatest, but I know I got to do something. I got to get up and show up. Yep, yep, yep. That, that's 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 work. That is work. And it's kind of like one of those things, though. You get up and you work, and you'll thank yourself later. Like, I'm glad I showed up today. I'm glad I, you know, gave back. Um, hmm. Fascinating. What's that about? And that's what I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. It's all about clearing things for you. It's all about clearing things, making room, making space for things that you do feel some sort of emotional connection to. And so that's the thing, though. If you have a plan in mind and you're just not feeling it and it doesn't line up with what you want, you're, excuse me, you're just dropping it. You're just dropping it. It's like, yeah, it doesn't work. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. I'm not fulfilled about that. It doesn't doesn't make me feel good. Hey, just, 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 <laughs> <laughs> just drop it. Just just let it go. Because <laughs> that's what's fascinating is even though you're swimming this energy, um, there is something here that you are excited about. So something does turn around, but what I'm curious as to what that is. Okay, you show me a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I was just saying. That's what I was just saying. You're like, I love what I do. I'm happy and excited to get up and do what I do, but it's it's when there are these difficulties that make it very hard to kind of feel like doing anything when it's like you're not in the greatest mood. It's like either one, you're having to deal with some sort of problems and issues, two, you're having to make some sort of changes and shifts and <laughs> having things trying to figure out how to work it all out. Um <laughs> because you're showing me it's like no, 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 no. Uh, don't get it twisted. I enjoy what I do. It's just when things don't go the way I like them to go, that's when there's a little bit of a problem. 
That's when there's a problem. It's preference. It's all preference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Again, it's it's the energy of, <laughs> it's the energy of I, I want something my way. I want something a certain way. And if I feel like I kind of have to wait for it, then I'm going to get a little bit impatient. I'm going to get a little bit impatient. But it, you're kind of in this position, Scorpio, of you kind of having to work through that energy of patience in and of itself. Even though you're ultimately showing me it's not the greatest. It's kind of like what you're having to do to kind of get through this. Um, and what's interesting about this, though, is there is some sort of consideration of maybe how you used to do things or maybe something that is more calling to you. Um, and I feel like that's what you're kind of considering is like, well, do I kind of go this way or do I kind of go that way? And you're all about finding your direction right now. But again, with whatever considerations you do have, there is something here that you find your direction with. And I feel like that's something that you want to move forward with. So of course, if you are, which I kind of feel like you are, but they're, they're kind of remaining quiet today. Um, if you are dealing with anyone who do have showing up, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn. And that is it. Goodbye.